everybody, I'm that new guy, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we went into the Elden Volcano, we got the bomb bag, we fought a giant boulder-like creature, and got chased Indiana Jones-style uh, down a whole bunch of slides. If you want to see that video, you can click the card up in the top corner, and uh, that'll take you to that video. But in this video, um, as some of you suggested, very... Um, interestingly in the comments of the last video we're gonna go back to the sky we're gonna go back to the town up there see what kind of goodies are for sale up there see if there's anything else we can find and then we're gonna find out what happens next in the story anyway let's begin yeah. sure insert a peter pan thing please all right, back in the sky we go. Or I'm falling out of face. Oh, look, how's it going? Any luck tracking down Zelda? I get it. Well, all of us here are pulling for you. By the way, I saw Kukiel's mother heading up toward the temple a little while ago. She looked really upset. Do you know if something happened? I, I don't even know who you're talking about. You know, she lives in that house near the water with her husband and their little girl. I don't know what was wrong, but she was definitely upset. I guess we'll go find out. I have enough slots for everything. Ooh, what's this? Ah, there we go. Iron shield, there we go. Won't protect you from electricity. I have a feeling that's going to come in and be very important. Uh, next time. What you got going on, lady? <laughs> Shop is a potion brewing and infusing business, as I'm sure you know. Anyway, I can improve the potions you buy. Oh! Buy a bug net from Beetle's Air Shop? Beetle! Beetle, where's the net? Let's do the bomb bag. We're probably going to need it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there goes, like, all of my money. We really need a wallet upgrade. Placing your purchases in your pouch. Thank you. Oh, I understand. It takes a slot, but it also upgrades my... Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm just dumb, okay? I never claim to be smart, everybody. I just claim to play video games on the internet. I'm just a dummy on the internet. Don't don't look too much into it. Hello! Kukiel, hey. Kukiel, where could that child have gone? Oh, Kukiel, where did you go? What will I do if she's been kidnapped? Oh, Lonk. Lonk, help me find my child. I, I genuinely don't want to right now. I'm busy. Uh, nope. I haven't seen them. I see. Help me look for her. I've looked everywhere. Uh, I find, I've asked everyone I could find for help, and a few people said they had been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. Someone else even said that they have been carried off by a monster. Uh, where would you... Fine, I'll, I'll look. I'll take a look. I don't, I don't know. Person hey. with a scary face. Person with a... Hey. Maybe... Hey. Maybe Butthead. Hey. Maybe the jerk. What is that? What are you? And how do I get on top of you? I bet I have to the stupid bell. I bet that's the thing that I need to do. Ah! Hey! I did it. Um, I can't reach that. Oh, wait. It says grab. Jump! Climb me, climb me. I don't, I don't even have to climb. It just pulls me up. That works. I don't know what this is, but we'll find out. That's just a jump off spot. 
Okay. We don't want to fall off, though. That'd be embarrassing. What? Oh, this is be. Oh, that's Beetle. I'm an idiot. Why do you have a heart container, sir? Oh, you come all this way. It's so rare to have a customer here. Beetle's Air Shop has everything you could want. Please take a look around. Now I wish I had more money, because that is a wallet upgrade right there. Oh. Extra wallet. Amazingly useful. You can carry an extra 300 rupees. But I don't have enough money, Beetle. You have a pouch upgrade. You have a bug net that I need. Talk to you. Uh, yeah, why are you on a bike? Oh. Aren't you a curious one? I pedal this bike to generate enough electricity to keep this place in the air. Plus, all this pedaling has got me in fantastic shape. Beetle, you look malnourished. Like, just, just look at your nipples and the area around them. You are malnourished, sir. You are very skin. Like, I can see your ribs through the side of your chest. It is concerning. You need to eat a cheeseburger, okay? I might be a chonky dude, but you need a cheeseburger. Like, oh my god. I have to say, my lifestyle is pretty eco-friendly, but uh, with you on board, there's plenty of extra weight, so I have to pedal as hard as I can. Oh, sir, you just called long fat. Oh, that's mean. Please have a look around. I've got all kinds of great stuff. I, yeah, I can't afford anything. Oh, oh wait a moment. You know how heavy you are? I have to pedal extra hard with you up here. Ah, uh, what? Oh, rude. Oh, screw you too, Beetle. What are you doing? Oh, it's you, Long. Looks like Kooky L's run off again. My wife's in, her, uh, in hysteria. She's telling folks our girl's been kidnapped. Huh? But it's Kooky L we're talking about here. You bet she's just off playing somewhere. Let me know if you see her, okay? Uh, well. I don't know where she could be. Okay, then. Okay, then. Oh! Oh, God. That was dumb. Oh, hello! Who the hell are you? I just stepped there. Haven't they taught you in the academy? Ha! 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 Go away. Yeah! Yeah! Yes, I know. I just, like, would have plummeted to my death. It's fine. Hello! Hi, Long! What do you... Went to Beetle's... I, yeah, I went to the air shop without you, buddy. Cookie, oh, I did see you playing over by the graveyard. There's a graveyard? Okay, where's the graveyard? Jump straight for it. Hit my face. That's fine. Why can't I open you? Okay, then. Miss the thing, get the other thing. Okay, we gotta find the graveyard, wherever the hell it is. I'm guessing it's somewhere in the sky, because, like... Is that the cave? I might be just really dumb. This looks like a game board, though. That's neat. What is this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, just land on your face. It's fine. Who are you? Yahoo! Step right up, boy! Oh, I bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. Ah, uh, maybe a little. Yeah. Just the answer I was looking for. What a smart little guy you are. I'm hoping to make this island a fun place where everyone can come and be happy. Was it called, you ask? Or even if you didn't ask, I call it Fun Fun Island. I'm still getting the place set up, so hopefully you'll visit again later. If you you might like what you find, especially if you like fun and colors. They spelled colors wrong. How dare you, Nintendo? Pumpkins. Wait, who are you? Hi. Hello? Oh, so today who broke the chandelier? Still working it off, huh? Oh, hey. Father said you had, he had some more work for you. Better go talk to him and find out what... Yeah, I, I don't want to. Okay. What do you got? Ooh. Yeah, that gullible look that says you might take the old man's rambling seriously. So tell me, you believe in the Skyloft monster? You shouldn't even call it a monster. It's a demon, I tell you. But no one can say for sure because no one's seen it and lived to tell about it. Waha! 
You ought to know what I, what I come to tell me like this ain't, I ain't left lives at it. Yeah, well, I saw it, but I was able to escape by the seat of my pants by pooping in them. I was saved by my cat-like reflexes, I tell you. Any regular person would have got lived long enough to, enough to, to scream. Anyway, I saw that thing, I tells you. There's a great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by that tree in the middle of the night and I saw it hit a gravestone nearest the tree and the gravestone lit up. It pushed the gravestone and by the door to the shed opened up all by itself. Monster then went into the shed and then closed the door behind itself, which was unexpectedly polite for a demon. It was the most terrifying experience these old ass eyes ever did see. If you're smart, you'll stay clear of the cemetery in the middle of the night. I don't know how to make it nighttime, though, because I, I would love to go there at nighttime. How do you nighttime make the game? Oh. I didn't want to sit here. Don't just sit there. You got something to do right now, right? What you want? You're able to deliver the soup. I'll subtract your wages from the bill for the chandelier. If you think we're even, you better think again. You need your help harvesting the pumpkins. Okay, that's easy. It should take. It should be an easy one. For you, Keena spends her afternoon picking pumpkins in the patch. Carry them to the storage shed. And give okay. Ah, uh, there's no telling what will happen under the night sky. Oh, wait, it's nighttime. Why is it nighttime now? How is, how is it nighttime? Hey, hey, Keena, where do I, where do I put the pumpkins? Hi. Oh, and your next job has been decided. Looks like you'll be helping with the pumpkin harvest. What a relief! Do you have any idea how heavy those pumpkins are? Oh, yeah, you think this is going to be a piece of pumpkin cake, don't you? Yeah, uh, pumpkin pie, actually, but yes. To make it interesting, how about you carry five pumpkins at once? Better take it slower. You risk dropping it. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Okay, I'll show you where you need to carry the pumpkins to. Can you just stack me up with pumpkins, please? Okay, so right there. The storage shed up ahead, carry the pumpkins there. The trick to carrying several pumpkins at once is to walk slowly. If they start to lean one way, move the other way. Don't panic. Okay. Oh, go this way. And then move very, very slowly. No! I dropped them. Yeah. Why couldn't I turn it all? All right. Yeah, I'm not going to let you down because I want to carry the pumpkins. I wish to carry more pumpkins now. Why do they move so quickly to one side or another? Is this a slow... Oh my god, I have to walk this slow the whole way? Oh my goodness. Oh, why? This is torture! I'm going to move a little faster. Nope, nope, nope. Little, little baby steps, I guess. Oh, they're, yeah, they're beating too far. Thank you. No. Baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. They call them Baby Steps McGee. And the walking pumpkins. Also, I just realized our metal shield has, like, bird footprints on the back. Carrying the pumpkins. Carrying the pumpkins. We're gonna hit... Oh, God. Just, we're gonna... Nope. Nope. There we go. Oh. I just knew you'd come through. Yay! We carried all five pumpkins. Yay! You're a pain in the butt. What do you want now? Impressive, but don't celebrate. Yeah, you got a ways to before you pay off the chandelier. Ah, give us some time to think about it. Okay, so you got nothing for me right now. Cool. Cool. Where's the graveyard? Let me into your house. Now I require it to be nighttime. Oh, hello, lady. I love to collect antiques, you know? All the things you see in my house are very old and valuable. Make sure you don't break anything. Um... You mean like those pots over Pots right here? I can't swing my sword. I'm so sad, I can't swing my sword. Uh, lady, I'm sleeping in your very expensive bed. Look at the- it's made out of red rupees. Yeah, I just had a nap, and now I'm leaving. See ya. Goodbye.
I wonder how you get around. I'm sure there's like certain things you have to do at nighttime. I wonder how you get around at night. Graveyard. Money! Monster! Oh god. Monster is dead. More monsters! Why is there so many monsters? I don't remember what gravestone it was. That one? Nope. I'll take the money, though. I guess I kind of need it now, since I spent all my money. This one. Is it this one? Is it this one? Nope, it's none of the... I don't, uh, what? I thought it was supposed to be one of these. Oh. And then, oh. I'm an idiot. I am definitely an idiot. Find the girl! We're just gonna give up. What? Why couldn't I just land down here? Oh my goodness. Like, it's right there. What is this place? Oh, screaming girl! Okay. Open your door. I'm gonna cut you now. Oh. Hi! Oh, you're super creepy. There's no way those are real wings. That's all, that's got all be makeup or something. Don't be real. Hello. Hey, what's wrong? Why do you look so scared? Did something happen? Hello. I'll walk all the way around you now. <laughs> Stop, please, the big you don't hurt me! Oh, goodness, I know this must look bad to you right now. I assure you, I mean no harm. We're just playing the scream as loud as you can game. That's disturbing. This is, isn't that a fun game. Oh, dear, perhaps an explanation is in order. My name is Batrix, and I am a monster who resides here in this humble dwelling below Skyloft. Please allow me to correct one popular misconception. Well, I'm certainly a monster. I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood-curdling scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit me here, I felt positively jubilant. Jubilant! You see, my heart only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. But as you can surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break free to break the ice when they are struck with a paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with more joy than to be friends with the fine people of this town. As soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw in friendship, they run and scream as though they've been they've seen a walking nightmare. All right, silly me, I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there's an old tale among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. Uh. It seems that when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as a gratitude crystal. <laughs> gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just looking at them and knowing where there was such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster into a human. Oh, goodness, nothing would delight me more than to be human. From the moment I laid my regrettably demonic eyes on you, I could tell you had a gentle and generous heart. Wouldn't you please gather gratitude crystals and show them to me? Okay, do you mean money? Truly? You'll help me? I've heard that you can obtain pure gratitude crystals by helping people solve their troubles. Mm -hmm. They could also be merely laying here in Skyloft or elsewhere among the clouds, anywhere you find people. I'm sure someone with a heart as pure and genuine as yours will be able to see them. 
Please solve some troubles and gather me all the gratitude crystals you can find. Any help you can provide me, you can provide will dearly be appreciated. I promise your assistance will not go unrewarded. That dear girl should be back home safe and sound by tomorrow morning. Give her parents my warmest regards when you see them again. Oh, and good luck gathering the gratitude crystals I require. To start, please bring me five if you can. That would be so splendid. If you could do a great kindness for someone, you may even find several at once. Okay. Bye. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's this one. Hello, lady. Your face is horrifying. Oh, Lunk! Kukiel is safely back at home. That's all because of you. I don't know how to express my gratitude. I mean, you give me a smooch right here. I can finally smile and laugh again. Thank you ever so much. Hey! I got a fancy crystal. Five gratitude crystals! Okay! It's taking a lot of gratitude to produce a, this bunch of five crystals. Helping people feels good. Okay, so those are extra special items. Then. I didn't know that was the thing you could do. Now I gotta go help people. I don't really want to. But I'm gonna go talk to the demon dude and see what's up. Alright, demon of Skyloft. Hello. I have some crystals for you. Oh, you've got quite a lot of gratitude crystals. Haven't you? How magnificent. Please take this as a token of this demon's deepest appreciation. I got a medium wallet. Oh, that's so good. I'm still going to need more gratitude crystals to become a human. Please, won't you aid a poor unfortunate demon in need? Okay, you you didn't tell me how many, but okay, bye. Jump off here, please. We need our bird. So that definitely could have been streamlined a lot more. There was a lot of back and forth and dumb shit. And Shiro, you can put little clips of that in here if you want, just to show like the amount of dumb that happened, like, the back and forth, the amount of just insane, I'm going here, now I'm going there, I have no idea where I'm going, so we're going in circles, just like, something like that, show people how many, like, just stupid tangents we went on, it was ridiculous, I'm going on another tangent, don't ask me why. Close enough. Yeah, land in the hole. Oh, this looks like less fun. This look this looks like a lot less fun. This looks dangerous. Okay, you still automatically do the sail cloth, even though you said you'd only do it once. Our report, Master Log, we have arrived at Lana Lanayuru Mine. That's hard to say. Lanayuru. Lanayuru. Lana Yuru Mine. Excellent. This arid region was transformed into a desert over the course of several hundred years. Ma King. Zoom! Okay, so we got where Lonk is. It looks like there's a secret over that somewhere around here. That way. Secret is that way somewhere. Ju just, just jump off. Uh, we're gonna use the bomb. We're, we're just, we're gonna put a bomb down here and a bomb down here and a bomb down here, just, just for fun, just to blow up all the rocks. Just to find us little bits of money in the rock. There's more bombs! That's convenient! Also, there's a box. Let's get the box. Shiny sword! Got the box. Also, we're walking on metal. That's really weird. Just staring at the statue. Lonk, what are you staring at? Everyone, thank you all so much for watching. It, it was... It was a hard... A hard lesson there, learning that I'm just really dumb. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, 
and you're not already subscribed to the channel, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if you really love the video, make sure you smash that like button too. You can also catch me live on Twitch every second day, starting at about 7 p.m. Mountain Time, 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, updates are always in the Discord. Links for both of those are down in the comments. In the next episode, we're going to explore this mine. We're going to find out what the heck is going on, where Zelda went. And we're actually going to continue with the story more than me getting completely lost. Until then, I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye! Thank you.